Hello and welcome back to another directed drawing. Today we'll be drawing an iguana. So let's get started. Actually, don't know why my voice sounds like this right now. <clears throat> All right. So an iguana is kind of like a dinosaur. Um, it is kind of tricky to draw. Hopefully you guys can draw it. They're kind of cool looking though, but when I look at them, they kind of remind me of dinosaurs. They're like mini dinosaurs. All right. So what I am going to do is I have my paper wide like a wall or landscape mode. Um, and we're only going to do the head just because the feet can be a little bit tricky. Um, I think you guys would be able to do the feet, but maybe I'll do that another time. So to draw the head, what we're going to do is we're going to draw a soft V shape. So we've been doing a lot of those soft V shapes. I'm going to start here and go down and around like that. Okay. Once you have that, we're actually going to change the shape a little bit. So hopefully, as always, you guys are using a very light kind of sketching pressure on your pencil so that you guys aren't pressing too hard or else it's going to be hard to erase. So what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to start about right here and we're going to do an upside down U shape. So I'm going to go down and back up and stop. Okay. You can extend that out with a curve like that. And I'm going to go ahead and erase this line on the inside. Okay. I know it doesn't look like an iguana now, but he will. Don't worry. We're getting there. Okay. I'm going to come back up here so we can shape out the mouth. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start here and I'm actually going to extend it a little bit. So I'm going to go in front of it like this, and then we're going to do like a U shape, like that, okay? And then it's going to curve down, maybe just a little bit, like that. And you guessed it, if you erase the inside part right here, that's what you do. All right. so. The eye is going to go about right here. And the first thing I'm going to do is we're going to do a almond shape, except it's going to be a little bit bigger than an almond shape. So I'm going to go up and down like this. And then we're going to do an upside down wide U shape like that. And remember, you can always pause the video if I'm going too fast so you can catch up. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go above this eye shape we made and do another line like that right over it and one under it like that. Okay. And then I'm going to do another line, but I'm going to start right here. And I'm going to follow that curve, but I'm going to make it a little bigger and it's going to go outside of his head like that. And I'm going to erase this line. So it looks like that. And I'm going to go ahead and erase this back line because we're going to change this a little bit. All right, so we've made it to this point. I'm actually going to change the shape of his mouth a little bit because this should go down a little bit straighter like that instead of curved. To finish the eye, I'm gonna start right here in the front. See my circle? And I'm gonna do a curved shape like this and another curve like this. So it looks like it's circle. And then I'm going to go to a circle on the inside. Whoops. Try to do it 
as circly as possible. And I'm actually going to do another ring around that circle. And this is going to be a different color. Okay, zoom back out. An iguana has a very big nostril. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start right here. And I'm going to do a little oval shape like that. And then I'm going to do a bigger oval shape around it. And then erase the lines. Okay. And it has some little bumps and horns right behind it. So how you do that is you just do a couple upside down V's. I'm going to do three. All right. And then right under the eye, he has some scaly looking bumps. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw like a bump kind of thing, a little squashed rectangle shape. And I'm going to do that all the way around the bottom of his eye. And they can be circles if you want, that's fine. And they're going to go out like that. All right. So now it has this big little circle-y thing. Um, not exactly sure what it is. You can draw it if you'd like, but it's just a circle. It goes right here. And then I think the ear is actually right here and you just do an oval that's kind of small and then you do an upside down U around it like that okay now on this big circle I'm going to do a C shape around it like this and then I'm gonna do some lines like that, okay, and then for the back of the head, I'm just going to do some bumps or squiggly lines like this, and then it's going to kind of squiggle down this way. Now on the bottom of his chin, he's got like a beard. So starting right here, I'm just going to do like a little line like that. And I'm going to stop there because we're going to do the bottom of his chin in a little bit. And it's going to go down like that. Okay. Then from here, we're going to do straight down. So this guy has a lot of funky looking shapes. Now on the back, I'm kind of doing the same thing. I'm going to start right here and I'm going to go out. And this is going to be a little bit thinner than the beard one, but I'm just going to outline it. Then he has some spikes. So I'm going to do some bumps here on top of his head and do some bumps here. So like upside down V's and then it's going to get bigger. So this is the first spike. It's a thin upside down V. Okay. And you're going to put a bunch of those on the back all the way down. Okay, and you can make them longer, shorter, or however you like. They can go in opposite directions or straight up and down. Okay, 
So we have that. I'm just going to add some circles along the back for the scales because I don't really want to draw all the scales. So I'm just going to do some circles that are different sizes all the way down. Okay. And then from here, I'm going to add another line that goes out like that. And then I'm going to add a line here that goes up. And then from here, we're going to do a S kind of line like that. It just shows a bunch of folds right there. And then on the bottom of his chin, he's got some spikes there too. So you can do some more V's, kind of all the way down, like that. Okay. Now for details of his scales and skin, you can just do some squiggly lines like that along here, above his eye, just to show some dimension. You can do some under his eye that. His mouth has kind of like a um, lip and so you just draw a line above it and then some lines going down like this. And then the bottom just has a bunch of circles for the scales again. They don't have to look like scales, they can look like circles and that's fine. And same thing for his bottom chin. I'm just going to do some squiggly lines just to show it's kind of wavy looking. And these actually can have some squiggly lines in it because these things are kind of wavy. Like that. And then his arm, we'll just see a part of his arm. I'm just going to do like a little curve. Then another curve and another curve. Because that's all the arm that you can see. Okay. And you can add some more circles or ovals. And you can kind of play around with this and kind of make it your own. Okay. So that's how you draw an iguana head. I think I got everything. If you want to put some more circles up here, you can. He's got a lot of scales. If you want to Google iguana, you can look it up and kind of follow it. But it's got a lot of bumps and scaly, so it's kind of hard to draw that. But that's the idea. So this middle part is going to be black. Okay. All right. So that's how you draw an iguana. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys are staying safe as always. Wash your hands, and I'll see you next time.